Okay, y'all, I have a special helper today for my video. Here he is. <laughs> Gaines oh, is gonna be my helper. You love Halloween, don't you? Yeah, and he gets really excited when all the decorations come out. So we're about to get started. Okay, so I have everything over on this table and I'm just gonna kind of play around with it and decide where I wanna put what. I was really, really sad today because I had Johnny get down my big container of Halloween decorations out of the attic before he went to work this morning. And yeah, you can tell. Um, so the globe has broke in the box and everything has mold all over it. Yeah. And it's all wet and we cannot lose it since it's going to be sticky every day. Yeah, it's it. I opened it up and I was immediately like, ooh, what is that smell? And I looked inside of it and like a little globe that we had had busted at some point, like I'm gonna say last year when we put it up in the attic. And it had leaked all over everything and everything in there was covered in mold and smelled really bad. So we had to start fresh with some new things this year. That's okay, we're really excited. You ready you to get started? We love Harry Potter, don't we? I do. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's get started. So as you can see, we're starting out here in our rec room. If we have any free time at all on the weekends, this room is where you will find us. If we have a free Saturday, especially during football season in the fall, we are all in here on this couch most of the day. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, we absolutely love it. I'm adding these little school pillows that I picked up from Ross, and then I'm also adding a Hogwarts pillow that I got last year on Amazon. You definitely have to have a cozy blanket for those lazy days on the couch. So I'm adding this Marauder's Map one. Like we said before, Gaines and I love Harry Potter, so you're definitely gonna notice a theme or at least some touches of Harry Potter type things throughout this room. I actually, fun fact, just discovered Harry Potter last year. I went my entire life never reading any of the books or watching the movies, and I don't know, I just see people talk about it all the time, and so about this time last year, I was like, you know what, I'm going to watch one and see how I like it, and I have been so hooked and obsessed ever since. I'm so happy that Gaines shares the love of them with me because he watches them all the time. We've watched them nonstop for like the past year, but I feel like especially this time of year, it's just so much fun to rewatch them. And I'm actually reading the second book now as well. So just a fun little fact, if you have never watched Harry Potter before, definitely give it a try because I love it so much. Any of the decor that you see me putting out today is probably from a mixture of home goods, TJ Maxx, Ross, places like that. But there are a few items that I got from Amazon that I'll be able to link for you guys. So anything that I can, I'll have linked in the description box below. I also picked up this little plastic cauldron from Walmart as well as these Harry Potter Hershey Kisses. And I thought it would be fun just to pour them in the little cauldron and have them sitting out here under the TV. I 
ordered this little owl on Amazon and Gaines was so excited about it. He wanted it right here on this cabinet. He knew exactly where he wanted to put it. But I happen to think we just went to build a bear recently and Gaines made a little Harry Potter bear. So we went in his room and grabbed the little Gryffindor scarf and sorting hat off of his Build-A-Bear and it fit the little owl perfect and it looks like a little Hedwig. So I love the look of a frame TV and that you can have art up on it all the time, but unfortunately I don't have a frame TV. So if you're like me, a little tip is you can search for screensavers on YouTube and have it playing on your TV and it just fits the theme a little bit better and makes everything more fun. I also got this cauldron essential oil diffuser. So I'm just putting some thieves in here. It made the entire room smell so good and it looked so cool at night. Before we continue with any more decorating, I would like to kindly thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. If you have been around here for some time, you know that I have used my Cricut Joy for so many different projects throughout the years. I have absolutely loved this thing, but what I love the most about it is how easy and convenient it is to use. It's very easy to pull out whenever you're ready to do a project, but it's also very easy to put it back away and it doesn't take up a lot of space. I've used this for a lot of different projects over the years, such as organizing, making gifts, personalizing items, and sippy cups, and all that type of stuff. But today, we are gonna be making a little fall goodie basket for Gaines' teacher. So I have two boys, but my oldest, Mason, is now in middle school, and he has a lot of teachers now. But my youngest, Gaines, is in the first grade, and so we're gonna be making his teacher a little fall goodie basket just of some fall-themed items just as a little thank you for everything that she does. I'm not sure if all teachers truly understand the impact that they have not only on a child's life, but on their family's life as well. It can be very hard for me to send my kids to school, just being honest. It's hard to be away from them five days a week and their teachers during the school year spend more time with them than we do as their parents, which can be very hard for me. But it is so much easier for me to send my kids to school every day when I know that they have a wonderful teacher, a teacher that is loving them and caring for them and being kind to them just as I would if they were home with me. And I'm just so thankful for Gaines' teacher. He's had such an incredible school year. His entire school is honestly amazing, but he's had such a great school year. He's learned so much, made so many friends, and he truly loves his teacher so much. And I'm just so thankful for that as his mom. So I really quickly was able to make her a card, which I'm gonna let him decorate and color all over. And then I also made a little pumpkin tag to go on a wreath for the front of the basket. But I'm just packing up all of my Cricut stuff and getting that out of the way now so that we can start assembling the basket. I picked up this basket from Walmart and now I'm pouring in two bags of filler that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Most of the items in here either came from Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx, but the first thing is this cute little pumpkin candle and it smelled so good. I picked this up from TJ Maxx. The next thing I grabbed for her was this little pumpkin notepad. I know teachers are always having to jot little notes and memos down, so I thought this would be cute to keep in her classroom. And then I also got this little kitchen towel from Hobby Lobby. I was on Instagram the other day and somebody shared these on their story and said that they are absolutely amazing. So I grabbed her a bag of those from Walmart and then I also got her a cute little pumpkin mug from TJ Maxx. I love seasonal mugs so much. I love pulling out the Halloween ones and then the Christmas ones. They just make me so happy. So I always love to give them to people. And I also got her this little pumpkin coffee spoon from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I believe everything else that I'm going to share came from Hobby Lobby, but I grabbed these little pumpkin stickers. She's always putting the cutest little stickers on their schoolwork, so I thought she might could use those. And then also this little dish I thought could be like a cute little jewelry tray or a sponge holder by the sink or anything like that. 
I also grabbed a random pack of red pens just because I know she can never have enough of those for grading all of the papers and everything. And then on top of the stickers, she also does so many cute little stamps on the kids' schoolwork that she sends home. So I got her a little pumpkin stamp as well as an orange ink pad. I thought it would be cute to add this little wreath to the front of the basket, but I'm gonna hot glue the little pumpkin with her initial on there to the wreath, and then I'm gonna tie it on the basket with some twine. This is how everything turned out. I hope that it brings a little bit of joy to her and lets her know how much we truly appreciate her. And thank you so much also to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. Now back to the decorating, I'm adding some black gauze that I picked up from Walmart and then I'm also going to add some of these little spiders to the wall. In the past I've used bats that I got off of Amazon and I love those, but whenever I saw these spiders I thought they would be absolutely perfect. It was just something different than I've used in the years past, but it also gave a little bit more of a Harry Potter feel to me because they do have like the big spider scene in the movie. So I'm going to put painter's tape on the back of these. They did come with like some little sticky glue tabs but you just never know what's going to take the paint off. I always use painter's tape and I've never had an issue. It just peels right off but it's strong enough to also keep them up there. For the bar area, I'm keeping it very simple because the kids actually eat up here a lot and we use this area a good bit, but I put down a spiderweb placemat that I found at Big Lots and then I picked up this little Magic Spells potion set up at Home Goods. I got this cauldron candle from Big Lots and it is caramel apple scented and it really does smell so good. I really liked this. These little bat candle holders are from Ross, and then I picked up this cute school head candle from Home Goods. And I'm putting one school head candle in that one, and then just a regular black candle from Hobby Lobby in this one. This hands down is the item that I've been most excited to decorate with this Halloween. These are little floating candles. Each candle takes a AAA battery and they already have fishing line attached to them and the remote to turn them on and off is a magic wand. How cool is that? But I'm going to be hanging these all around and above the TV. I thought it would be so cool to be cozied up on the couch at night with all the lights out and these candles on watching the Harry Potter movies or any Halloween movie. But but just them hanging from the ceiling like this reminds me so much of them floating all in the ceiling at Hogwarts. But I just think this is so fun. My kids have had a blast with this. But I just hung mine up using clear push pins in the ceiling. But I'll have them linked below if you're interested. 
On this wall, I just hung up Gain's little cloak from him dressing up as Harry Potter last year for Halloween, as well as a plastic broom from Walmart. But I'm gonna give you guys a little tour now of the entire room and how everything turned out. This is only part one of my Halloween decor, so stay tuned for part two. Okay, y'all, I'm about to share the easiest fall dessert recipe that you have ever came across. I have been making this for a couple of years now and we all absolutely love it and it could not be easier. It's literally two ingredients, three if you count the ice cream that's really good served with it. But all you're gonna need is one can of apple pie filling and then a thing of cinnamon rolls. And I prefer the ones with the cream cheese icing, but you can use the original icing too but I'm gonna show you really quickly how to make this. So, so easy, but it honestly is so delicious. Okay, so I just preheated my oven to 375 degrees, and while that is preheating, I'm gonna cut these cinnamon rolls into fours. So I'm just gonna quarter them like this. And two there. But you just want them in little triangles like this. And I'm going to cut all of them up like that. So once you have all of them cut up, you're going to get a casserole dish. I'm going to spray it really good with Pam or any kind of cooking spray. And then I'm going to dump the cinnamon rolls into the dish. The next thing you're going to do is open up the apple pie filling and you're just going to dump it on top of, you're just going to dump it on top of the cinnamon rolls and then mix it all up. I can't remember if I've ever shared this on my YouTube channel. I don't think I have, but I might have. I know for a fact that I've shared it on my Instagram and I had so many people write me. This was like back a couple of years ago, but I had so many people write me saying that they loved it and it was so much better than they thought. I'm not a huge cinnamon roll person and I'm not even a big like apple pie person, but this is one of my favorite desserts to make in the fall. I think this is my third, second or third time making it already this year. And fall is just now getting started, so we absolutely love this. But once you have everything mixed up and kind of coated in the apple pie filling, you're just going to pop it in the oven for like 25 to 30 minutes or until the cinnamon rolls are completely done. They do stay a little bit doughy if you don't overcook them, but what I'll do is I'll usually cook it for about 15 minutes, then I'll get my spoon, stir it around again, and then cook it for like another 15. But I'll show you what it looks like whenever it's done. Okay, this is what it looks like whenever it's finished. I cooked this for about like 30 minutes. Then you're gonna take the cream cheese icing that came with the cinnamon rolls and just drizzle it over the top and then serve it with ice cream. I don't